some people. We understand that there's a lot of talk going around, too. Some of it linking Roddy Piper and this man as possible partners. This is, of course, the Lord Jonathan Boyd. Thank you, Frank. First of all, Piper has not asked me to be his partner. Piper is a tough man, and I think I'm one of the toughest men in wrestling, and Piper seems to be able to look after himself, and he's doing very well. But, Piper, if you ever do want a partner, and you look in my direction, you don't have to ask, I'll be your partner. Mr. Rose, once again, once again, I go into the office early, I look at my signed open contracts, and there's none of your bloody army's names on it for Portland, Oregon. How come? What's the matter, Rose? You think I'm gonna lose my temper and hurt part of your army that's looking after you? Rose, my dear, dear little buddy Rose, who looks like the Pillsbury doll boy. Hey, everybody has come up to me and says, boy, Will you take that mask off Buddy Rose? And you know what my reply was? Why? You look better in the bloody mask than you do with it all. The mask makes you look like a pig and that's exactly what you are. You're nothing more, nothing less. Now look, you got your army, you got all these foreigners like this Cuban and everything, and I don't like foreigners because I'm a kangaroo from the Northwest now. Hey, you get your miss little Cuban's name on it, or this bloody Rick Oliver comes out here with a dark beard and dyed blonde hair. Hey, Rose, you must have something for blondes. Edward Gousey's a blonde. You're a blonde. And now you've got another man here who's a blonde. It kind of makes me wonder what you are. I got nice dark hair and I got Australian muscles. Now, just for all your new men, I want you to learn a poem, and it goes like this. You fans have seen the wrestling game's best. Men from all nations with hair on their chest. Some you've admired and some you've hate, and some were so lousy, they just didn't rate. But who was the greatest of all present and past? The kid from down under that rolls them up fast. And who is that man, that man of such fame? The Royal Kangaroo Rose, you know the name. Lord Jonathan Boyd. Laskowski dealing out a lot of punishment during the first fall action. Even more during the second fall. He lost the first fall. And Piper put a move on him. Watch out, he catches him coming up on the apron. It's a fall of peace, but Piper is taken by far the most punishment. Whip into the corner on Piper. Time growing short, and we're going to keep it right here to the end of the show. Round, roundhouse rights and left blocked by Piper. Comes back with a left to right, left, right. Over the top rope goes Laskowski, and here comes Piper after him. And watch out into a steel chair in the sixth row. The ice cream box wasn't there. Piper takes him. Watch out, Rose is up at ringside. But Piper caught him coming after him. Now he goes back to Oskowski. Piper down at ringside, tried to sucker. Rather, Rose down at ringside, tried to sucker him. Rose now trips. Piper was whipped into the ropes. Rose tripped him, and down they went. Down went Piper, not they. And once again, the crowd coming up. He disqualified him. A disqualification.
Watch out. Savage. Oh, I'm getting all mixed up. Sandy Barr is decked by Rose. Now they're working on Piper. The bell has rung, but it's not making any difference. They've got some blood flowing from Piper. And it Rose is just holding Sandy Barr in the corner. And Piper is a bloody mess. Piper has been awarded the win on a disqualification. Rose just holding on to some fan getting into it again. And we just keep alerting you. you know, it's at your own risk if you try anything. And we want you all to enjoy it. If you like wrestling, that's fine. Enjoy it, but don't get into anything. We're going to keep keep it here. We're going to keep it here for a couple of minutes. We've got Rose and Wiskowski. Piper! You thought you wanted a piece of me. That's just a sample. Because there was nothing at stake there. Just a simple match. Look at there, he can't even walk. He's beat half silly. And his voice is breaking worse than ever. Come on in here, Piper. Sit down on your knees. And tell me you're sorry. Piper going after him. Another boy. Wiskowski! Come on, Wiskowski! You want your chicken? You run! You're the one who ran my tail out! You're the one who ran Brooks out! Well, doggone it! You think I'm a coward? Well, then let's have a loser lead town match with me, mister! Where's the next? We'll have one here this Wednesday! Just you and me, Wiskowski! But just wait a second! There's a yellow cage back there that we can knock that whippersnapper up in and he ain't gonna be in there to grab your leg. They got a yellow cage to put Rose in. You're gonna put him in a cage? Well then let's hoist that cage above the ring and then Mr. Wisconsin, we'll just see if you can do all them things you've been talking about Wisconsin. When I get through with you, brother, your mother ain't even going to know you. Well, that's it. That's all the time we have. We're going to have to, we're going to, have to close up. Whether he's done he's talking or not, we'll let them talk. We'll say goodnight so to you. I don't care, Rose, if you're there or not, even though you're up in the cage. From the Portland Sports Arena, this has I'll been Portland Wrestling. He's going to have that pin back to working, get the, both wheels back soon. The Flying Dutchman, Dutch Savage. Thanks, folks. Thanks a lot. Tomorrow evening, for the Muscular Dystrophy Association, we have a big get-together down in Florence, Oregon, on the coast. That's in Florence tomorrow night. You people want to come down, the proceeds go to Muscular Dystrophy. That's at the gym in Florence. On Labor Day night, the fireworks are happening. There's a super grudge tag team match, as promised. The Longview fans that were at the last match know what I'm talking about. That's at the Cowlitz County Fairgrounds Monday night. Tuesday night, we're off resting. Wednesday night, Medford, Oregon. Thursday night, Salem at the Grand Theater. Friday night, Eugene at the Lane County Fairgrounds. Saturday, Portland. And then again, next Sunday, Hermiston, Oregon. We're coming, coming to Hermis, Hermiston, Oregon. I want to say a special thank you to the people that were generous enough to come and visit me at the Eastmoreland General Hospital after my operation. I want to thank my pastor, Wally Pendergrass, for coming down and wishing me well. I want to thank my mother, Catherine Loretta O'Hara for being at my side, and I love you, Mom. She's at home tonight. Now, Mr. Rose, Paul Pershman, Buddy Rose. I was planning on retiring. I had a bad leg. You did a number on me, kid. I was going to quit. Buddy Rose, don't turn your back 
Don't go to the bathroom by yourself. Don't get in your car by yourself. One day, one night, one evening, you've heard of vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Well, I'm going to be his messenger. You may beat up on a few more people, Rose, but keep an eye out for me because I'm going to half kill you. That's savage. Folks at home, the folks here in the arena might not know it. Uh, Ed Laskowski was the loser in Wednesday night's Loser Leave Town match. However, the contract called for him to fulfill his obligations to the end of the week. That's why he's being allowed here tonight. So we have the Playboy and the Prince, Ed Laskowski, Playboy Buddy Rose. You know, you people are very fortunate to get to see the Prince just one more time. You know, I am a man among men. I accept my defeat, and I accept it graciously. But you see, I'm still healthy. Piper's not here tonight. For all practical purposes, he won, but he lost in the long run. So you see, when you've got a real man like the Prince, it doesn't make any difference that I should leave all this wet weather. You realize that Thursday morning I had 10 different telegrams. 10 different promoters from across the country want me. And they have made very lucrative offers. Florida really looks good this time of year. So I tell you what I want you to do, Rose. You know, I'm gone. But you know, I could be back sitting right at ringside in another disguise. So keep your eyes open, Piper, because the prince is gone, but he's not forgotten. You should possibly get a loser leave town with him, Rose. You know what? J.R. Ewing, Playboy Buddy Rose, is going to make a special announcement. All of you people are not going to believe this. But Roddy Piper, all your fans are here. Let's Roddy Piper and Buddy Rose have the ultimate match of all. The loser has to leave the Northwest, Piper and I. You can see me standing here looking you in the eye, confident, wearing over a thousand dollars in paraphernalia, and looking good, and the Playboy is can back it up. Roddy Piper was injured by Ed Wyskowski and myself, had nine stitches reopened up the other night, got an infection, got blood poisoning, and the poor little boy is going down the drain. So it's time to jump on it now. Piper, I want to lose or leave town with you anytime in the near future. I don't like everybody yelling bye-bye, Rose. It's time to find out who is the best in the Northwest. And you know it's the J.R. Buddy Rose, a professional wrestler. Piper accepted. And Savage, Lionel Stewart, Dutch Savage. Wrestlers wrestle under different names. The Paul Persimmons, the Buddy Roses, you name it. Buddy Rose is going to remain here and he's going to keep crippling. He's staying. Nobody's running him out. The Prince and the Playboy. Peter Mark Tompkins and Tom Peterson. Whether you need something or not. Go in, say thank you very much. It is due to the sponsors. But you see, fellas, first on the scene like that guy right there. Oh, what a sensation he's made. The next of the evening will be one fall. Introducing in this corner at 265 pounds from Missouri, Ed Wyskowski. His opponent in this corner at 255 pounds from Gresham, Mike Popovich. Mike Popovich, what a sensation he has become in a little over a week. Made his debut, professional debut, a week ago last uh, this Thursday in Salem. Made his television in Portland debut last Saturday. He's in against Ed Wyskowski. Wyskowski in the dark trucks. Popovich in the light, if you're looking on black or white. Red trucks for Popovich, blue 
Well, with Skowski. A couple of poles, I think, going against each other here. But a very diverse attitude toward wrestling. Skowski and Popovich. Wonder if George Yurkovich is looking on. He's going to have to come out and see this young man in action. I think they will have more than a nodding acquaintance. Battle of top wrist locks in the middle of the ring, and he throws the Skowski off. Skowski claiming that Popovich hold his hair not so says the crowd armbar Oskowski on Popovich hey, the truth I was kind of looking around missed the introduction this is scheduled to be the best two out of three falls Popovich and Muskowski. Both football players. Both played professional football. College football. Muskowski played the University of Missouri. Popovich played with the Ducks, the University of Oregon. Side headlock. Popovich reverses it. Something that uh, is unusual, but he likes to do he gets a side headlock and he quickly reverses from his left hand to his right left arm to his right arm and he grinds down on it Wiskowski trying to throw him off Sandy Barr can't believe that Wiskowski couldn't throw him off without Popovich grabbing the hair and he asked him are you pulling the hair on that He said no, and so did some of the crowd. Well, this is a one fall bout. A little change. It surprised me if there wasn't a change in the uh, card for tonight. Wiskowski goes outside. And is hauled back over the top ropes and taken down. Still in the side headlock. Side headlock, very, very effective when you've got the upper body strength that Popovich has. It's effective for anyone, for that matter, but particularly effective. That great upper body strength. Remember, Jimmy Snooker used to use it. They are both outside the ring. They're down on the floor. He still got him in that side headlock. And bringing him into the ring with it. Never relinquishing the side headlock. Popovich. Muscular young Oregonian out of Gresham. One of three Oregonians to make their debut. Matt Bourne, Sandy, uh, Matt Bourne, Jesse Barr, Sandy Barr's son. Body slam. Popovich on Muskowski. And a drop kick. Oskowski having his trouble with the rookie. What a sensational rookie Popovich is. Five minutes gone. Oh, 
uh-oh. They're squaring off in the three-point football stance. Oskowski came in and challenged him. He says, you're a football player, I was a football player. Let's go at it. And Wyskowski says, wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to think about this. He issued the challenge. Shoulder throws out of the football stance. Top of it, John Wyskowski. Easy, Ed's not easy. Right now, he just cannot find anything that'll work. We're going to try it again. Yeah. Wyskowski again and again. And he apparently got him in the eye on the side of the head. Turnbuckle treatment. He caught Mike Popovich in the side of the head. Oh, clotheslined him. That straight arm put out, whip a man into the rope, and he comes in and he's at one, two, and a flail kick. Popovich catches one of the side of the head, goes down another from Muskowski. Head slammed into the boot, put up in that top turnbuckle. Grabs him with a small package one, two, cannot get the third one. Side headlock, Oskowski. And Bulldogs him with it. Side headlock came charging out of the corner and just bounced down. And the head slammed into the canvas again. Popovich, head slammed into the powder blue canvas. Turned over one, two, and he is flail kicked all of the way out of the ring. He flail kicked him. Wiskowski went flying between the second and third ropes. A tie up, middle of the ring, knee lift to the midsection. Body slam, Popovich down hard. And diving headbutt coming up. Now he sees the man getting up, so Wiskowski comes back. Right hand roundhouse, misses one, and there's a full Nelson. Wiskowski in trouble. And he has to give it up. Top of it with a full Nelson that many say is unbreakable. Mike Popovich with that look at that upper body. And that's what does it when he gets a full Nelson on an opponent. He has such great nine strength minutes that a man can hardly hold out against that. The full Nelson submission, the winner, Mike Popovich. Popovich winning at Auburn Wyskowski, and that has to be one of his. With us now, Buddy Rose, with a man who has been suspected of being a member of the Army. Uh, I assumed that he is Mr. Oliver. I asked Don Owens, what are we going to do about the tag team championship since Martell is gone? Don Owens said, Buddy Rose, Roddy Piper has picked a partner. I said, who is the partner that he has picked? He's picked Mike Popovich. Well, I'll tell you what, I have picked a partner. 
I have picked a man that has won 186 straight matches, a man by the name of Rip Oliver, and a man that's going to team up with the Playboy. And we, next Saturday night, next Saturday, won a challenge match against the champions, Popovich and Roddy Piper. I am defending my title Thursday night in Salem. I will still have my championship when I wrestle Piper. I am proving to the people that it's going to come down to a loser league town. I'll get Piper out here and it'll be Rip Holler and myself going after whoever steps in our way, right? You got it. That was 187 wins I've had, so I don't think we're going to go down at all, buddy. Now, Rip Oliver saw a few of my paychecks, and you know where it's at, right, Rip? That's where the money's at. Right? The man drives a Cadillac already. I am going to help this man show him what it means to make the big bucks. Let's have that tag team, Popovich, Piper, you and I, brother, next Saturday. Next time you see us, we'll have these. Rip Oliver, Buddy Rose. The Popovich, Popovich's papa is pretty proud that Piper picked his son, Popovich. <laughs> We're going to have some fun with that one, aren't we? Well, Popovich, Piper, or Peterson, I tell you, we like them all. Here is Tom Peterson. Heavyweight champion. Here they come, including Stan a man. Should be coming into your picture momentarily. Mike Popovich. Showing for his first time, I do believe, people of Portland. That Cole Nelson that we have heard so much about. event of the evening will be a 12-man over-the-top battle royal for a $2,000 purse which will go to the last man in the ring. The contestants are Crusher Stasiak, Mike Popovich, Eric Emery, Ed Waskowski, Rick Delacera, Rip Oliver, Jonathan Boyd, Ricky Hunter, Chris Colt, Joe Lightfoot, The Cuban, and Playboy Buddy Rose. Well, we're ready to go. Over the top. Battle Royal. That means you have to leave the ring by going over the top rope. If you are thrown out underneath the ropes, does not count. And just time to watch out. Colt bails out. Being ordered by Sandy Barr to get back in the ring. Going at it, Della Sera taking it from Boyd. Lightfoot trying to get Rose out. Oliver helps him. Emery up on the top, swinging away. It is just wildness in the ring. Della Sera being worked on. Colt is still outside the ring and circling. Trying to buy, if you can hide like he's trying to do there, down at the bottom of your screen. Stay out of the ring. They're trying to get Rose out. And he gets some help. 
And Colt is out over the top rope. Colt is the first one disqualified. And Sandy Barr has to give him a shot with the elbow to get him back to the dressing room. Colt, the only one out so far. We started with 12. Popovich working on Oliver. Oliver comes out. Eye gouging. Rose takes a shot from Stan, the man. Ten minutes remaining. Stan looking for who can I get to? And he goes in after Wiskowski. Wiskowski gets a little help from Della Sarah. Everybody in the ring except Chris Colt. He was out early. There goes Hunter. Hunter, shoulder throw by the Cuban to get him out. Emery on the Skowski, middle of the ring. Good shot, Jonathan Boyd. Helping Popovich on Oliver. On the other side, Wyskowski took a swing at Whitefoot and hit the Cuban. Rose, but he went through the ropes. He went through the ropes, not out. Jonathan's after him into the front row. Jonathan after Rose outside the ring. Boyd going after him. Now he's going after the mask. He is not out of there. They both went through the ropes. Boyd after him. Meanwhile, they go at it in the ring. Boyd and Rose are still in it. Rose did not go over the top. Wyskowski, did he go over the top? I did not see it. Watching somewhere else. There goes Lightfoot. Lightfoot definitely over the top. Wyskowski apparently. Not removed. Rose is outside across the way. Boyd comes up behind him and throws him in the ring. Boyd trying to buy some time. Delosera out. Over the top. Halfway. And he's hanging on her up, but he got back in. The Cuban. Complete clip over the top rope. He's out. By the hand of Stan, the man Stasiak. They're allowing the Cuban back in. He went out over the top. And there goes Stan, the man. Is he going to take Rose with him? Yeah. Stan, the man, taken out. But Rose taken along with him. Six minutes. We are down to six. The Cubans in there illegally, actually, but uh, Sandy Barr allowed it, so apparently he's in there. 
Danny did not see it. And Emery out over the top, and Wyskowski follows. Jonathan Boyd. Oliver and the Cuban teaming up on Young Popovich. Karate Thumb. Five minutes. Popovich is out, and it's Boyd against Oliver and the Cuban. Now Popovich is not out. Popovich is not out legally. Boyd giving a hand. There goes Oliver. He's out. Now it is the Cuban. The Cuban and Popovich. Popovich, I believe, in his first ever battle royal. And he's still around. He's still around, and it's down to two. Four minutes. And there goes the Cuban. Johnny Boy pulled him out. Popovich wins his first ever battle royal. In seven minutes and 21 hey, seconds, the winner of the battle Remember royal, the name. Mike Popovich. Make a note of the date. You might see, you might see history being made. Wrestling history. With that young man, there the arm is raised in victory. Mike Popovich wins it. The crowd, we're going to hold it here for just a moment. Take a look at it. There is Popovich. With the crowd, the crowd up around it, Jonathan Boyd first had a big hand in helping him with it. You are seeing a sight seldom seen. Popovich, and now with the news that Popovich is going to team up with Piper. There you see Johnny Boyd raising the young man's hand out of the University of Oregon. High school All-American football player at Gresham High School. A super, super fan following. A man, young man, has charisma. And, of course, he has talent, no doubt about it. We'll be back. We got a lot more of Portland wrestling to go tonight. So don't go away. We'll be back after these messages. It's Tom. We are... Talking now to, I guess, the general and another member of his army. We've got a man who is in there at the end. The Cuban is here, Fidel Cortez. What does he have to go there, huh? He did not have no business there. Hey, boy, listen. I want you, boy. I, if it was not of you. You do not want to wrestle Johnny Boy. Yes, I want him. He had no business to be there. Your job is to protect me. You and Oliver protect me. You should not, don't ask to wrestle Johnny Boy. Yeah, but Nobody. he had no business to get there. I don't like that. He did not have no business to get there, boy. Boy, I want look you back. Look out, look out, look out. Did you challenge me? Did you challenge me? Yes, I challenge you, boy. Are you gonna yeah, let you I'm gonna let your there. foreigner challenge me, Rose? Are you game enough to put him in there next Saturday night with me? He's one of your men. I know he's on your payroll. Are you game enough to do that? Hey, Rose. Hey, there's a monitor in the dressing room, friend. 
and I heard him challenging me, and he's challenging me now, and I accept. <laughs> Next Saturday night, you're a witness. Everybody's a witness. One of Rose's men has challenged the Lord. He right here next Saturday night, and there's no way you can get out of it because his big mouth got him into it, Rose. Hey, sooner or later, Rose, he's going to be a stepping stone to you. To you. And another thing, Rose, another thing. You'll never run Piper out here because I'm going to start watching Piper's back. So if there's any future, any future loser leave town matches, you'll be going, my friend, because I'll see to it. Hey. Next Saturday, I'm standing here now and you're not doing nothing. I don't like foreigners. I don't like foreigners. And I don't like you. You won't take my butt. I'll kill you. I'm going to take your butt. I'm going to say it. Crazy. Next Saturday night, next Saturday night, you're back. Watch, watch the equipment. There's two of them standing here, and I don't see them kicking my butt because they can't do it. You can't do it without help, and he's not going to help you because I'll get this Mike Popovich. I'll get, I'll get Roddy Piper to stand out there, and it's going to be you and me, just you and me. And you're going to be looking up at the end of the match because my foot's going to be in your mouth. And don't try and creep around, Rose, because this kangaroo's got eyes in his butt. That's it. We're out of time. Next Saturday, that match is made. That's right. Oliver and myself are going against Piper and Popovich, and we're going to beat all three of them in the same night. We're going to win the championship. We're going to take it, and this man is going to get rid of Boyd. You didn't see nothing yet, boy. Boy, let me tell you something. You got to see a while. Since last Thursday in Salem, when Roddy Piper won the title, we call him the former champion, Playboy Buddy Rose. Roddy Piper, Roddy Piper is the new Northwest heavyweight champion. They all go yay! Piper! Next Saturday night, I want a title match right here in Portland, and I want to win my championship back. But after I win my championship back, Ronnie Piper, these people all scream yay about you winning the title. Do they scream yay about you taking a loser lead down with the player? They don't believe in you. They don't think you can beat me. That's why they go boo. See? They don't believe in you, Piper. They believe in me. I want a loser lead town with Roddy Piper at the soonest possible day. I asked for one in Salem. I don't care. I want one in Portland. I want a loser lead town with you, Piper. Give it to me, brother. I want my title next Saturday, a title match, and I'm going to win that too. A playboy, Buddy Rose, challenging for the title match next Saturday. Well, he lost it in the middle of the ring, fair and square down in Salem. Now wants to get it back, wants to win it back here in Portland. And then a loser leave town after that. Well, we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, Roddy Piper, the heavyweight champion of the Pacific Northwest. Thank you very much. I'd like to say that uh, I just uh, had to rest for a while there, you know, but... Uh, uh, it was worth the rest because uh, Wiskowski is gone, and, uh, and it was worth the effort. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, 
I'm the champion, and, I, and I'm proud to be the champion. And, 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 uh, and but old Buddy Rose has been coming out here, uh, bra bragging, talk, talking about me, saying all kinds of nasty things. I was watching the tape, talking about my zits and, and stuff like that, man. He must, really, he must really think that there's nothing wrong with you, Rose, you know? You must, he must think he's really got it all together. He calls himself a playboy. He calls himself a playboy because the guy, because the geek goes and he takes one, takes one at uh, the date, one of those inflatable dolls and blows it up and dances around his bedroom. Yeah, yeah. Dances around his bedroom like a geek. The other day, the other day, he was dancing with his doll, stuck his head out the window. A policeman looked up, charged him with mooning. This ugly sucker. Gonna take you, and he's talking to me. He thinks he's really got something on the ball here. He really thinks, he really thinks that all these women are chasing him. And I, and I, I don't know why he thinks all these, all these ladies are chasing him. And it, it's not his body. And it's not, I don't, the other day, the other day, Buddy Rose was, was got out of bed and, and put, put his underwear on. And, and, and the fruit of the loom guys fell over laughing. So that ain't it. <laughs> so listen to me, Buddy Rose. I want to say something real serious to you, Buddy Rose. You've been talking about title matches. You've been talking about title matches. You've been talking about loser leave town. Well, let me tell you something, fool. I remember when we had haircut matches here. And all the time you were saying, Don Owens, please give me a hair match with Roddy Piper. Anybody, Don Owens, and all the time Roddy Piper was saying no. But listen to me, brother. I'm going to fill you in on a few facts here. All the time back here, I was saying yes. All the time back here, I was conning you. And you went ahead and you pushed Luke ahead. And I knew I could beat Luke, you see. And, and, and then when you went ahead and you pushed Butch, because I wouldn't take one with you, and, and I wasn't sure if I could beat Butch, but, but I was willing to give it a try, and by the time I got to you, brother, you were so afraid of me, man, your boots were shaking, your knees were shaking, you got inside the cage. And I had your whoop. I had your whoop, so listen to me, brother. You want a loser league town match, and you want title matches. Well, if you want a loser league town match, since I'm the champion, since I'm the champion, maybe, maybe you'll get your loser league town match. But it'll be when I say, it'll be when I got the biscuits, brother. It won't be now. It won't be now. I feel like, listen, but one thing for sure, one thing for sure, there ain't enough room here in Portland for, for, for two of us in this town. I feel like John Wayne. I feel like there ain't enough room in this town for all of us. But let me tell you something, Rose. I'm gonna make John Wayne look like Benji, brother, when it's my turn. And if you take this loser lead town match, when I suggest it, take heed, brother, cause it's satisfaction guaranteed. Roddy Piper. First ball, Buddy Rose submits. Jerking on that left arm, and he had to give it up. The first time he got in the ring with Piper, Piper forces him into a submission. And I'll tell you, that's the kind of electricity we're going to have when they get together a week from tonight. A championship match has been made. Here in a moment, we're going to run down the towns where wrestling is. So if you got a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil, get it there in front of you. Get ready to write down, because we're telling you where the action is, where it's coming up. Rose! Rose! How does it feel, Shamil? How does it feel? Well, we're all going to Hermiston tomorrow, to the high school in Hermiston, and you're going to be in the main event in the Battle Royal, and there's going to be 12 of us after your buddy, honey. That's tomorrow night in Hermiston at the high school. Monday night, Vancouver, British Columbia. Tuesday, we're off. You can rest what's left of your body. Wednesday, Wednesday, Seattle, the big shootout. Boyd's gonna get, Boyd is gonna get you, baby. Thursday, Salem, the Grand Theater. You're in the main event. You got, you reaped what you sowed, baby. It's coming back to you. Friday, Eugene, Saturday, Portland, Sunday in Tacoma. And listen to me carefully. You busted the leg, it's cost me 3,000. You're happy, aren't you? You never know, buddy. Like I said, you reap what you sow. You never know when I'm going to come up behind you and put your lights out and send you to the hospital. You never know. Tomorrow, Hermiston, it can be up in Tacoma, Salem. You never know, Frank. I'll tell you this. 
I tell you this, Rose, and I swear on my mother, and I'm a born-again Christian. I'm a Baptist now. I'm going to be at the Baptist church tomorrow, Five Corners and Orchards. We're all going to be praying for your well-being, buddy, because you're going to end up in a hospital. We might, we might add one more thing. Don Owen is going to announce it, but somebody else that Buddy might remember is going to be coming back to town in three or four weeks if he's still here. Jay Youngblood is returning to the Northwest. Once again, well, needing a little introduction, if any, the Lord Jonathan Boyd. Well, thank you very much. It's always uh, nice to know that you're welcome. But the only person I think is not welcome here in the Northwest is Buddy Rose and his animals he calls his army. Rose, I think you're going to be biting off a lot more than you choose, my friend. Because you've got a lot of people mad, and it's not only the fans, it's the bloody wrestlers. And I'm one of the wrestlers that are getting a little bit madder each time. All right, tonight, after the TV's over, I'm going to take care of your Cuban, and then I'm going to go after this Rick Oliver, and then I'm coming after you, lad, because you don't have any more corners to hide in. The more you run, the less I'm going to... Oh, boy, I'll tell you what, sometimes, Frank, sometimes I look around at wrestling, and I look around at the wrestlers, and when I first started wrestling, wrestlers faced one another man to man. Rose... I never had an army. I've never had an army in my life. I've had a, I had a partner once, and we became the world's champions. If I had a partner now, I'm sure I could do it again. But you have bit off too much this time. You've got Piper I'm so mad at you that he would even start to consider a loser leave town match, which I don't advise matches like that because I don't like them myself. Because I think they're stupid. But Rose, I'm going to be coming after you. I'm going to take care of your army, and I'm going to start to build an army myself. And my army just may consist of Popovich and the best one of them all, Roddy Piper. So stick around, Rose, and don't make any more stipulations, because if you go with a loser leave town match with me or Popovich or Piper, you're going to lose. And You've got the golden calf too well up here to leave the Northwest. So don't be stupid, Rose. Stick around because I want to shove these down your throat. The Lord Jonathan Boyd. And do the turnbuckle, Pompovich. Well, we've got considerable time here. <laughs> I tell you, that has to be the wildest I have ever seen in a lot of years, 14 years to be exact, 14 years this fall that I have been doing uh, wrestling, the big time wrestling has been on, and I don't believe, well, there have been a few moments. They got to go back to Lonnie Main, Matt Dog with Sean, Tony Bourne, there have been some wild moments. This equals any that I have ever seen. If didn't top it, you heard Rose, if you didn't, one of the things he was yelling about was that if anybody could remove the mask, that he would leave it off. He was saying that, he said, because he was unbeatable. Well, you saw it. Piper came up, removed the mask. We saw short growth of dark hair. And now the challenge is for him to leave it off. Okay, a week from tonight, he meets him in a super match. I'll tell you what. and I'm going to be the man of the Northwest. My partner and I did it tonight. We won the The Playboy Buddy Rose. I want to thank, I want to thank Roddy Piper for a big favor that he did. Ever since last Saturday night when I lost my mask, I've had more girls come up to me and tell me how beautiful I am, how good looking I am. Check it out. Nobody saw the Playboy with short hair. The Playboy's hair has grown back 
He's just as handsome as ever. Just as good looking as ever. Right now, I've got to use the old blow dryer again. You can't let it drip dry. And the Playboy is looking good. I accomplished five months without anybody seeing this hair. But a lot of other things happened in those five months. I ran out Rick Martel. I crippled wrestlers. I shaved a lot of wrestlers' heads. Piper ran out wrestlers. Piper ran out Wyskowski. Piper ran out Rip Rogers. Piper cut a lot of hair, the sheep herders and myself. Now it boils down to a loser leave town with Piper and Rose. I have got my wish. I am going to prove to the people that only one man and one man alone can back up what he says. And it's the Playboy. You all chant bye bye Rose. You all chant goodbye Rose. But I stuck it down your throats when I beat Martel. And I'm going to do the same thing when I beat Piper. I am the best. I am the greatest. I am the one, the man, the can't be beat in professional wrestling when it comes down to the big matches. I will continue to stay the man. I will remain here in the future. You will see me here because nobody is running the Playboy out. Everybody here tonight is backing up Roddy Piper. They're backing up the Johnny Boys. They're backing up the Mike Popovich. But you know what? I get a lot of glory in my stomach running through when I beat these men, when I hurt these men, because I'm going to cram it up for four years. I've been backing up what I've said for four years. Nobody's been able to stop me or hurt me or run me out. The playboy is taking care of Piper. He's running him out, and nobody is going to stop the playboy. I'm staying, Piper. But the arena. Change of t-shirts. A bouquet of flowers. Buddy Rose coming up with flowers once in a while. Change to his Superman shirt. For the title. Buddy Rose held that title. Orson won it from Martell. Going up against one of the most popular wrestlers ever. We will take the opportunity. Uh, that mic going out? Okay. We will switch to the other mic. And we're going to show you here in just a moment, once again, where wrestling is coming up in the next week or so. And as I show it to you for the next week, we'll run down it quickly and then uh, give you a reminder of a week from now the way things are going the big thing to remember of course is here in portland tuesday is super card and we are ready so let's take a look at it tomorrow in tacoma washington monday over in grandview super card here tuesday portland loser leave town wednesday in medford a giant card underway there thursday same thing for salem at the grand theater friday in eugene elton owens got another super card plan next saturday is kids night here in portland sunday at Chehalis. And then the following week, Wednesday the 24th, Seattle, Washington. And of course, Thursday that week, Salem, Friday, Eugene. Watch out. Greeting him. They're heading up to TV land. We're going to be talking to them. Let's get a commercial in before we do. Should be time, I think. Okay, we've got a commercial break, and then we'll be back. More to come. Now, Loser and his attempt to win back that title, two straight falls. That's two straight. I do not want to lose or leave town now. It's canceled. Yes, buddy. Take it. I'll be there with you. You can do it, buddy. Go ahead, Colas. No, I decided to change my mind, boys. No loser leave town. You can do it. Yeah, you can do it, buddy. Come on. Don Owens. 
I refuse for the simple reason. Come here, look out, look out. Listen, you bald headed promoter. He's telling whether he wants one or not. I heard what you said. You're, you signed for this bout Tuesday night, and you're going to have it. And furthermore, furthermore, I'm going to tell you something. That if either anybody comes into this ring to help you, the referee is going to have instructions to give the other man the decision, and you can leave, because there's going to be nobody in there. Just one second. Just one second. Let's, make, let's do this right on us. If you're going to make them stay in the dressing room, let's make it one fall to a finish and let's have not one, but two referees. And let's clear this damn thing up forever. All right, that's okay. We'll get another referee. Maybe we can even get Red Bastine to come out. And like they've been saying, bye-bye, Rose. Don Owen announcing that Red Bastine will be brought in as the second referee. Don Owen! You're bald right now, brother, but after I beat Piper on Tuesday, you're going to pull the rest of the hair out of here. He said, he said if you guys even attempt to come to the ring, he's going to give Piper the match. So I'm on my own now. You can do it. You can do it any way we'll be there to try to get any way we can. You guys, listen, you cannot come out. You cannot help. But I'll tell you what, if I lose, you peep, you two, I want... I'll pay you anything to cripple Piper. But if I win, and I promise you to, I will win, we will rule the Northwest. Piper, you're going down Tuesday night! My you're going to leave the Northwest! We're up. That's wild. One thing I'll tell you for sure, one thing, I owe Portland this, brothers. And like I said, Tuesday night, if he's gonna beat me, he'll have to kill me in the middle of the ring. Buddy Rose, by the time I get through with you, brother, you won't be here no more. I forgot. <laughs> We're going with the stick Mike to the rest of the way. So I will move over. I have a lot of interest in that loser leaf time, but you've got some matches made no matter what happens. This is Frank. I'm as excited as everybody is here. The action in the Northwest has never been greater. I am against loser leaf town matches because good talent leaves and I won't have anybody to wrestle with. And that's why I'm against them. But uh, hey, Everybody has their own race to run, and these men are running their own race, and, and I, I can't wish anybody luck in this one. All I can say is that uh, it's going to be exciting. Now, Rose, if, if, and that's a big if, friend, because I've seen what happened tonight. You got beat too straight. If you win, you're going to be looking across the ring at the Royal Kangaroo from now on, and you're going to wish that you had a lost. Frank, I have no love for this man, and if, if this man is beaten and he leaves the Northwest, I think I'm going to find out where he goes, and I'm going to leave the Northwest and go after him. So that's how much I hate you, Rose. So no matter where you go or whatever you do, Keep looking over your shoulder because you're going to be looking at back at yours truly, Lord Jonathan Boyd, the Royal Kangaroo. These animals that he has with him too, Frank. Hey, Rose, you used to walk out into that ring like a champion. You used to wear beautiful robes, beautiful gowns, everything. But I think you're paying your army so much money that all you can afford now is a raggedy old t-shirt that you can buy anywhere for about 50 cents. It just goes to show you, you do not have any class anymore. When you came to the Northwest and you walked out here from Las Vegas with all your dollar signs on, you look like money. But now, my friend, you look like something the cat dragged in. 
Rose, if your army is as good as it, it as you think it is, if your army is that good, why don't you look like a general? Why don't you come out here in class? Why don't you wear diamonds out? Why don't you show the bloody people you have something because you've got nothing left? You've got no money because you give it to those animals to look after you. You've got no class in that ring. You have no talent. And soon, very soon, you're going to have no teeth because they're going to put them in them. The Lord Jonathan Boyd. Well, if it can be heard or not, I don't know. We'll try to play boy Buddy Rose. Roddy Piper, Buddy Rose, went at it last Tuesday night. One fall, first one to win the fall with a one-hour time limit. And I, with 30 seconds to go, had the figure four leg lock on Roddy Piper. And Piper gave up. Doug Savage is at ringside, time in the match. He goes 15, 14, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. The people are chatting with him right down. I've seen everything in professional wrestling, but this took the cake. I asked to continue the match, and the people said no, because they knew deep down inside I was going to bury Piper. Well, Piper, I'm going to bury him because tonight's the last night for one of us, and I am going to be here every single day after. These people are chanting bye-bye Rose, but you know what? You're going to be up there with me for the following week coming, and I'm going to remind the people I told you I'd say. You know, after that match, it was my toughest match of my career. I've said that before about other matches, but this one did take the cake. If you looked into the dictionary, under the words tired and exhausted, you'd have seen Piper's in my picture. But I'll tell you what, Piper, you do got a lot of guts. You are tough, and you are hard to put away. Now, I'm being very honest in saying this, and I am telling you like a man, straight on, baby. You got it all, and you are the best on your side of the locker room, the toughest, but I'll tell you what. I am the toughest of all the wrestlers, and I am going to defeat you, and I am going to run you out. I would like to make another announcement. Fidel Cortez and Rip Oliver are the new champions. Under my guidance, these men are now making the big bucks, and they are driving around and flying around making a name of themselves because of my guidance. Piper, I want to say one more thing. If I lost, you won fair and square. But if you lose, you're going to lose fair and square. One of us has got to win fair and square with the two referees. It's going to come down right now. In just a few, three or four hours from now, Somebody's going bye-bye, and it's not going to be me. I am saying. The Playboy, Buddy Rose, the new tag team champions of the Pacific Northwest, Fidel Cortez and Rip Oliver. Well, Frank, I told you we'd win the titles, didn't we? You know, up in Granville, we went and uh, me and Mr. Fidel Cortez, we go in and we win the uh, Northwest Championship. You know, we're willing to be, be gladly to defend our titles anywhere in the Northwest. We are looking for top co uh, competition. You bring anyone on board, Popovich, you see what, we, we just beat them. We need some tough competition. What tell them about it, Fidel? Hey, Popovich, we defeat you the first time, and you went for another partner, Popovich, and you didn't do it a lot better than you do right now. We made it, we got the belt, and we are the champions. We gotta stay the champions, and no one's got, we're not the champion of one week. Let me tell you that, we're champions for a long, long time, brother. You gotta get our being ripped for a long, long time. Long, long time. If you remember, like I said before, we were ready that night for the championship. We were looking for, we were 
looking at TV, something you guys, and we finally made it. Rip, I got a great partner on you, and what I think about you. You people around Eugene, be out ready to see you, the new statues. We will I be defending our titles all over. Exactly. Eugene, say Okay, title match in Eugene, one inch. Former heavyweight champion of the world, the NW uh, championship in WA, Gene Kaniski. Frank, I just have to say this. I am sure that all the fans who are watching me right now have to agree that uh, Portland has to be the hotbed of wrestling. In the past years, so many wrestlers have gone on to Madison Square Garden, back in the East Coast, and done so well after getting themselves a super reputation. In the near future, I am sure that the great, great wrestlers in the world, I'm not necessarily in the United States, but I'm talking about Great Britain, India, and Japan, will be coming here to the Northwest to establish their claim on the world heavyweight title. As we all know, Harley Race is the present world champion. I am known as a former world heavyweight champion, a title I certainly do not appreciate. By me wrestling here, in the Northwest and in Portland, and you people, the goodness of your heart, allowing, in me, allowing me in your homes via TV, I am going to reestablish myself as the number one challenger for the world's heavyweight title. Now, I don't want to discredit the likes of Playboy, Playboy Buddy Rose, Piper, Martell, Dutch Savage, I could go on and on, but I have to say this, your promoter, Don Owen, has to be congratulated because when the time is right this man does not hesitate to take the band off the billfold and spend money to bring in the best wrestlers in the world and ladies and gentlemen you are looking at the best when you say wrestling you are saying Kaniski and Kaniski is wrestling we're running out of time I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you wonderful American people here in the Northwest for allowing me to hold via TV and Frank as usual you did a superb job of uh, interviewing Canada's greatest athlete thank you sir I did my I did my homework yes. Jane Kaniski ladies and gentlemen and Boyd win it but they cannot win the belt Due to the disqualification, Mike Popovich up there, and you've been talking all week about wanting to get this Cuban. I tell you what, every match we've had between Oliver and the Cuban and me and Boyd, this guy's been working my shoulder, my elbow. They never want to work this body because they're afraid of it. I got more strength, I'll whip both of them. The Cuban keeps messing with me. I know I'm not supposed to be up here, but I want the Cuban next Saturday night here, one-on-one, -on -one, me and Fidel Cortez. Okay. We've got boy Jonathan Lloyd up here with us. John, you were helpless for the first time I ever saw there for a while. Hey, look, we all know this is the master plan of Buddy Rose, but Rose, your plan's going to backfire, my friend, because you've made your first mistake. I've said up here before, I've said a lot of times, don't make me mad, and tonight started it. So... Hey, Rose, I know you're going to lose tonight, and your men's still going to be here. But after what they just done to that man there while I was tied up in the ropes, it's a good trick of the Cubans to let somebody else hold while he does the kicking. Hey, next week, I want the promoters and matchmakers to go along with these wishes and put this big lump of muscle in against that little foreign nothing and let him kick the living daylights out of him. And I'm going to tell you, I had a partner one time before, and we took the world championships. That's how we good we were. If you listen to me, I'll take you right to the top. I'll put the belts around you, and I'll make you into a champion. And it's never been done before with somebody that just turned professional. And I want you to start with Cortez here next week. I want you to go one-on-one -on -one and take him to pieces. Thank you. Hey, what about you? You're wandering around here in a stupor of glory thinking you beat everybody. Just hang in there, champ. The old man's around the corner every now and then. Keep looking for me. Thank you. Well, that's been Dutch Savage. It's been a week, but uh, the celebration still goes on, apparently. The general and his army with their champagne. That's right. As the shirt says, bye-bye, Piper. And about the back. Explain about the back.
For you ladies and gentlemen that, that, that uh, don't have enough fish to read, I would like to show you the back of this shirt. You see what it says? It says, who's next? Boyd, Poplavich, or Savage? That's for you people that cannot read. Well, according to... Let's celebrate, baby! This is it! This is what the world champion baseball team does! This is what they do in hockey! And this is what they do when you win the big matches in professional wrestling! Piper is gone! You know what? Are we having a good time? That's a good campaign. Did we have a good time all week? I've never had a good time like that. Good. I think Get that's off the, the great. The hat. Off the end of the hat. There you go, baby. There's me. Johnny Boyd comes up here. As far as I'm concerned, Boyd, you better save all that wind to blow up your inflatable date. And another thing, Popovich. You're in for a surprise, my boy. And Dutch Savage, the crippler. The man that's crippled, the man with the bad knee. All three of you watched what I did to Piper, you watched what I did to Martell, and you watched what I did to the sheep herders. You're just watchers, you're just lookers, you're not covers. And I want covers. I want men that'll get in that ring, and I want men that'll fight that'll put up the best they've got. Who will be next to the Loser League Town match? Who will be next to leave the Northwest? It's not gonna be Rose, it's not gonna be any of his army members. We're staying, get a wide angle of all of us. Come on, we're still celebrating, baby. Isn't that right? Is that right? Is that right? Bottom line, right. you gotta admit, I should celebrate. I've run a lot of wrestlers out in four years, haven't I? Got to admit that. What? What, there is a rumor that you've got some big star back east that you're trying to get out here. Can you tell us anything about that? The Playboy will open up the package when he's ready. That's why it's a surprise. That's why it's a rumor. The Playboy will open up the package later. So Boyd, Popovich, Savage, quit sitting on the benches in the locker rooms and watching. Be comers, come on out and fight like men. We're waiting. We want you. We are the best. And we've got the champagne. And we're undefeated. I'm celebrating. Well, that's it from the Army. The General and his Army. And they continue to celebrate the big win a week ago. We'll be back after this word from Tom Peterson. Our main event of the evening. And once again, Don on is going to put it on TV for you. Buddy Rose. And I tell you, he really has been celebrating all week long. He was ecstatic when he came out of that match with a victory over Piper. He was beaten except for that last minute thing running into the ropes. Don on to do the introduction. Get those bottles out of here. Get them out of here. You don't have to have nothing in here. Ladies and gentlemen, two weeks from tonight, a sensational Jay Youngblood, who has become a real top star in the East Coast, will be arriving in Portland. Also, Terry Gibbs, a sensation from Kentucky. So watch for them in the next few weeks. The next event will be the best two out of three falls or to a TV time limit. Introducing in this corner, 242 pounds, the Cuban. His opponent in this corner, 250 pounds from Gresham, Mike Popovich. Hammerlock Popovich on Fidel. Del Cortez, the Cuban. Up in the Puget Sound area of Washington, should be getting on the air. You folks up north of Portland might be looking for that. Last date we had was the 
Five eight, minutes, eight, 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 eight. And Fortunately for you, in between there, I can get both stations. The show will be on at the same time, but so many of you have tape recorders. So you can tape one, watch the other. Trying for a flying tackle. Leal Cortez caught in a body lock, a bear hug. He has to go to the eyes to get out of it. Shot to the back of the head. And another forearm smash back of the head. And trading blows. Cortez getting the better of the trade at this point. that we've been telling you the whip and the go behind the full Nelson Cortez caught in the full Nelson and they seldom get away from that one and he's not going to he gives it up top of it winning the first ball in six minutes and 16 seconds with a full Nelson Mike Popovich Gibbs and Youngblood coming here next week. We want to correct that. We got the note. It's our fault, my fault. Uh, the, it will be in two weeks. That is October 11th that Youngblood and Popovich will be showing up. Well, a return engagement. Rip Oliver and the general. Playboy Buddy Rhodes. I was just up here a couple of minutes ago making challenges that I didn't see nobody except Don Owens. I went up to Don Owens. I said, Don Owens, Myself, Rick Oliver, and Cortez would like an army match with three professional wrestlers. He said, what three would you like? I said, any three you can get. So I'm making the challenge to Popovich, to Lord Jonathan Boyd, and to Joe Indian Lightfoot. Now, are you all afraid? Like I said, you all sit back there and you watch the monitors in your locker room and the bed shivering in your boots because you got respect for Oliver and myself and Cortez now. You know we mean business and you know we back up what we say. But for next Saturday, isn't that right? Those three against us three? Poplovich, Boyd, Joe Lightfoot, Indian, Wahoo, whatever you want to call him. Just brought yourself right on out there and see what you can do with us because a team like this, Buddy Rose's army, hey, Buddy, you don't even have a chance. Neither one of you, the little pumped up popular bitch, looks like he's got an air hose stuck to him again. He done blowed up. Same with Boyd. Looks like they pumped him up. Come on, the competition's here, brother. Let's see some faces. We're not backing off from nowhere. Okay, uh oh! That's Savage. Savage swinging away with a chair. You know, that young man has to watch his back a little more. Savage, Savage knows that one. Oh, Amos and Jimmy Snicker both had unbreakable Paul Nelsons. And so far, no one has broken the one of Mike Popovich. The end of the ropes and a whip on the Cuban. He was going to go for a leg dive, I think. He went over at any rate and caught a kick from Cortez. On the shoulder, Cortez now punching away at that shoulder, grabs the front headlock. Sandy Barr immediately down to make sure it's not a chokehold. A lot of people in the crowd. Do something you might be interested in doing. They come out, get on TV in some of these shots, and uh, go home after the matches and watch themselves with our two-and-a-half-hour tape delay. A crowd yelling about the use of the hair by the Cuban. Mike Popovich. The Cuban going at it. Popovich won the first ball with Cole Nelson. Popovich grabs the front headlock again. He's been working that. 
most of this time. The number in Salem, incidentally, for tickets down there, I don't think we mentioned that one. 5816099. 5816099. You can call Portland this weekend. 2839565. 2839565. You can call tonight. Whoa, turnbuckle treatment. A Cuban working pretty good on Popovich. Popovich a little groggy now. Seeming to suffer a little under the punishment being given him by the Cuban. Caught choking. Cortez counted off the hold. Drops it and comes back. Turnbuckle treatment. Popovich bounces back in the ring. Five minutes gone. Elbow or rather forearm smash back in the neck. Popovich came back with a blow, but it didn't seem to hurt. Now he's up swinging away. And double thumb in the eye and Sandy Barr. Saying it doing it, doing it right in front of me. And I'm gonna have to DQ you. Caught him with that clothesline, the extended arm. That ties him up now. He has had a sleeper. A word was out that he had a Cuban Cobra clutch before he got here. And I never seen him use it, and he seems to be using it now. A Cuban with a Cobra clutch. Sleeper hold. Cortez working on Popovich. Arm up once and drops, twice and drops, three times, he's out. It'll be all even and a fall apiece. Sandy Barr. Talking to In six minutes. the Cuban. Attacking him after the bell. Sandy Barr is getting very upset. Watch out. It's a beard and a shirt. And he could lay an easy $500 fine on him if you get him to hit. And he is challenging him. And the Cuban wants to in the worst way. You can tell that. In six minutes and ten well, seconds. the winner of the fall evens the match up. The Cuban. And it looks like Pavlovich is coming around. But he had put him out on guard. Jonathan Boyd. Buddy Rose. Comes from Las Vegas. He's probably one of the best gamblers ever to be in this business. But Rose, a gambler's luck runs out. I must admit, you beat Piper. It was an accident because Piper had you in a sleeper hold. You kicked back. I don't think it was a scientific move on your behalf. I just think, once again, you threw the dice and they came up seven. But hey, they can't come up seven too many more times, Rose. Now you're getting cocky. You come out here with your champagne, you pour it all over, you idiots. If I was in a bar and somebody poured champagne on me, I'd kick the living bloody daylights out of them. So you've got these two. I don't know what to call them on TV because you can't swear. You've got these two men here brainwashed. You've got no class anymore, Rose. You're spending all your money giving it to these people to look after you, to keep you on top, all you're gonna end up with is a scrapbook, not a checkbook. You come out here in your little 50 cent shirt with your 10 cent writing on it, hey, you're in the wrong business. You come out here and brag about sending people out of here, you should just open up a travel agent and get the out of the business. Rose, 
You came here. I had a lot of respect for you four years ago when you came here because you came here like a somebody. Even though you might have been bad, hey, they used to hate my guts too, Rose. Some maybe still do, and there's quite a few that don't. But I'm going to tell you something. You came up here. You had class. You had beautiful robes. You got out there in the ring. You looked class. You looked like somebody that had money. But then you had to start paying the henchmen to look after you, and there's no more robes. They're in the pawn shop. There's no more good clothes. They're in the pawn shop. Rose, what are you going to do? What are you going to pawn next? One of your bloody henchmen? Hey, you're out here now. You've run a few people off, and you think you're cocky. You think you're the best thing since God made little apples. But let me tell you something, son. You're nothing. You never were anything as far as I'm concerned. You never will be anything because, hey, here, I've got $10,000 worth of diamonds on my fingers and you've got T-shirts on your back. Me, a champion in 37 different countries and 28 states, not gambling down in Las Vegas, getting in the ring and proving what I can do. And now you're out here challenging you're challenging for a six-man rose you don't think anybody's gonna run from you do you because nobody's gonna run and i'm gonna tell you one more thing son because if anybody is gonna run you out of here i'm not gonna let them because why would you take the punching bag out of the gym i want the punching bag to stay here so i can punch it and you're the punching bag Lord Jonathan Boy, everybody rose. It took him six months to recover. He did get back into wrestling. Down in South Carolina, North Carolina, on the East Coast, he became one of the top wrestling stars in the world today. He got the opportunity and says, I am returning. A couple of weeks from tonight, Jay Youngblood comes back with an eye out for Rose. The Cuban in against Popovich. They are at a fall of peace. The Cuban Cobra clutch used by Cortez to win the second fall after Popovich won the first. Roundhouse right by the Cuban, incidentally. We have used up all of our commercial time. Eyes and Rose is up here. That's Savage walking up. I saw him out the corner of my eye. And he has a couple of guests here. A uh, couple of gals that won a kid's bowling tournament over in Vancouver. Thought he was coming up to see them. He went over to them. He politely asked one to get out of her chair, grabbed the chair, and belted Rose as Rose was leaving and then said simply, that young man better learn to watch his back. I guess Rose needs to spend all that money that Boyd was talking about because he didn't have either one of his member of the army with him. Takedown by Cortez. He's working on Papa. Working a claw hold across those. Popovich gets loose. Goes downstairs. A headbutt. Not a whip. Cortez into the corner. Brings him out with a rolling foot throw. Roundhouse right. And another and another. Whipped again into the ropes this time and grabs him in a bear hug. Popovich raked in the eyes. A full Nelson. And it is the Cuban with the full Nelson. The Ten minutes remaining. Popovich trying to muscle out of it and does. And reverses it. He's got the full Nelson. And he's got it in the middle of the ring. Watch out. It should be Buddy Rose. 
Buddy Rose out of the dressing room. Sandy Barr thrown over the top rope. And here comes the kangaroo. Once again, the fans have thrown things. And as usual, Miss Rose. Sandy Barr trying to find him. He is just now getting up from the floor. Back with us, bringing a friend along, a couple of friends, as a matter of fact. Lord Jonathan Boyd, Joe Lightfoot, and Mike Popovich. Rose, your strategy is not working because your army is going to be defeated. And I'm going to tell you what, you're going to think you're back in the old Wild Wild West. Every time you pull one of these sneak attacks and you jump somebody from behind, you're going to see this hat come at you and you're going to think it's the bloody cavalry coming. Friends, hey, you have made the challenge. That's your first mistake. I am a chess player. I, I play chess very well, Rose, and I've been sitting back in the background, moving my pawns forward, and now my bishops are coming forward, my queen's out in play, and you're just about to be checkmate next Saturday night. With the help of this man here, who's the best Indian wrestler I know, and the, one of the best athletes the Northwest has ever had, you are gonna meet the feet, Rose. Your army is doomed, doomed, let me tell you. Next time you think to jump on somebody like him, or like him, or this face that a mother couldn't love, you are going to make the biggest mistake of your life. Next Saturday night, we are gonna defeat you so bad that you never, never, never hold your head up again. Popovich, Lightfoot, as well as Boyd, and they're going to accept that challenge for next Saturday to go against the Army. That, of course, is Oliver, the Cuban, and the general playboy, Buddy Rose. Frank Bonnemann here, thanking you for being with us tonight. Hope maybe see you in person next Saturday. From the Portland Sports Arena, this has been Portland Wrestling. Brought to you in part by Marv Tonkin Ford, where you're number one. And by Tom Peterson, Oregon's largest TV stereo and appliance. And now furniture, too, at 82nd and Southeast Foster Road. Director for